need it. What is up my mother loving followers just before the video starts i just want to give a huge shout out to the new group i am now a part of the crazy collectors if you love card collecting pop collecting or gaming definitely check them out the links for their instagram and youtube will be in the description of this video all right let's get to business shall we funko you all know them for their hit releases andy as johnny karate sasuke versus naruto angry skeleton man the Funko has just wrapped up announcing every summer convention exclusive for this year's Funk on um, Funk on Funk on and just like I did back during Emerald City, I will cover every announcement Funko has made and let you guys know how to get your hands on these. First up, Walrus and Buddy, as well as a black light white rabbit, both from Alice in Wonderland. Funko continuing this line of Alice in Wonderland is still a treat to see. Even after the little bit they've released for this line, they're still dropping more characters such as Walrus and Buddy. However, this is Funko. They of course have to add a variant and we're getting the white rabbit rabbit in his black light form to go along with the other wave that just recently dropped on the Funko shop. Demon, what happened here? Okay, I'm not a fan of this to be completely honest. It's awesome that Funko wanted to make a Demongo from Samurai Jack. However, I think they kind of dropped the ball on this one. Sharpen the face a bit. You've done it in the past. Why not here? Make the hair look like fire. You've done it in the past. Why not here? Hey, uh, can you... Hey, move, move back a bit. Okay, is, uh, is here no, not there. Why not here? I think you get my point. We got a band geek. <gasps> Nugget lady! If you collect McDonald's or ad icons, have fun. <laughs> That's all I have to say, really. I, I don't know what else to say. It's a nugget in a band outfit for McDonald's. Filibuster Leslie from Parks and Rec. They nailed it to a T with this design. This will definitely be a hot grab for collectors of Parks and Rec. Kronk as a scout leader from Emperor's New Groove. This is now our second Kronk pop back to back for conventions. Last WonderCon that just recently happened, we saw Kronk and Isma as scientists. And this con, we only see Kronk. I guess they're pretty much even since Isma had a release last year as a cat. I don't know why I'm putting these two up for battle for more appearances, but I I, I like it. Mooby. This is a must have for me. I love Jane Silent Bob. Mooby, which isn't the mascot's name, but I'm declaring it for the sake of this video and for my self desire, is the mascot for the universe's fast food chain, Moobies, which is seen in a majority, if not all, of Kevin Smith's movies. This is a total surprise, and I'm really glad that Funko is releasing a character like this. We have Nathan Fillion missing an arm and holding it with uh, his other arm. Um, uh... Smart. Fillion's character is TDK from Suicide Squad, and this is a movie I'm really looking forward to, and I really want to know what happens to TDK in the movie for him to be missing an arm. Rey Skywalker from the new trilogy, and Imperial Commando from Rebels. Um, basic? Nothing much to say, another Rey pop, and an Imperial Commando, which hasn't happened yet, so good job, Funko. Kaboom Serial's mascot, uh, Kaboom the Clown, is getting the Funko Soda treatment, limited to only three thousand pieces and includes a chase to continue the year of the shield line we have werewolf captain america or cap wolf this captain america variant comes from a wide variety of comics with the first appearance being issue 405 from captain america's volume one line of comics i wouldn't be surprised if this sells out the homie seal from sugar smash cereal more ad icons to add to the ever-growing line nothing crazy about this mold just seal holding a bowl of crisp rich in fiber sugary goodness sugar smash 
From DC, to add on to the Imperial Palace line, we have Deathstroke and Martian Manhunter. I do really like how Manhunter looks, even though it's the same mold from 2017, it still kind of holds up for today's time. However, with that being said, why are we still at this point of production value for Pops? Let me show you something. Why does a convention exclusive look worse than a common Pop released earlier this year? This honestly is kind of disappointing to see. However, I'm sure people are going to grab it regardless. Uh... Okay, four pops from Tokidoki. We have Scooter, Sak... Sabo... Sabokan? Sabochan? Sabokan? Caramello and Sandy! And of the four, Scooter will be the only one limited, which will be 1,500 pieces. More from the G.I. Joe line comes Cobra Bat. A bat is essentially the perfect soldier created by Cobra, hence the name Cobra Bat. These guys are known for their brute strength and overall easy to command. Hey, more diamond Pokemon. Bulbasaur and Squirtle, both diamond. Nothing surprising. Wait, no new Pokemon? More diamond? Give me that mic. Give me <laughs> Where's Snorlax, Funko? Where is he? Do you not know where to find the pokey food, buddy? Where is it? Snow White, however, this one's shiny. And it comes with a pin in the box as well, so hey, thanks. Masters of the Universe, getting more added to the lineup. For Pops, we have Whiplash and Roboto. And for Funko Sodas, we have Prince Adam and Webster. Prince Adam is limited to a whopping 18,000 pieces and comes with a metallic chase, while Webster is only limited to 5,000 pieces and comes with a glow-in-the-dark chase. Xanathar from Dungeons and & Dragons. And hey, it's metallic! <laughs> Along with the pop inside the box, you will receive a whatever amount of sides yellow dice. I, I don't want to count that. Crush Bandicoot! You guys like my neocortex voice? Crash Bandicoot from Crash 4. It's about time sporting his mask armor from the game. And guess what? It's metallic as well. DC is getting quite a few pops for this year's summer convention. We have Death Metal Batman, Stargirl, Nubia, Dr. Fate, and Sinestro in his White Lantern outfit. DC getting a bit more love than Marvel this time around, which is cool. We always get something new from Marvel and we get it so often. DC kind of gets swept under the rug over time, but it is nice to see DC fans getting the option to add more to their collections. And oh my God, more Harry Potter. Let's go. This time it is Harry with his winged key. I'm not gonna stretch this out longer than it needs to be. Um, it's it's a thing. Yes, sir. I love this. Homer in his belly dancing outfit. Sign me up. This is by far my favorite Homer they have made. It was Moo Moo back in 2019, I believe it came out. But this one takes the massive W. We saw Donald last convention for WonderCon. We're getting Mickey for this convention. Nothing too crazy about the design so we can all assume we are going to get a goofy next convention i personally think this should have been a three pack but what am i anthony and joe russo the russo brothers finally getting the funko treatment i am excited for this one however here's the catch are you ready it's limited to 2,000 pieces Yay. I really hope I win the lottery for this convention. I never do, but I know the big G-man upstairs is looking out for me. So we'll just have to wait and see. Fingers crossed. Disney Park Pops are a thing. So we got... It's a small world. The character we are getting is a little girl from Mexico. She doesn't have a name. I couldn't find a name for her. I, I did research. I tried my best to find uh, something... It's just, it's just little Mexican girl. That's a pop. Cool. To celebrate 40 years of Danger Mouse, Funko said, You know what? The wait is over. You're getting Danger Mouse. Danger Mouse is a British television series that started in 1981 and ran up until 1992. I think it's cool Funko is making figures for older television shows. I mean, they've done it for a while now, like Flintstones, Jetsons, pretty much anything Hanna-Barbera. 
it's nice to see Funko branch out a little bit more. Shockwave! With all these Transformers pops releasing, they've got to give the homie Shockwave some love as well. And he looks pretty sweet. I actually really like the design that they did with this one. Definitely a nice fit for any Funko, Hasbro, or Retro Toys collector out there. Now Funko will really surprise me if they make a ratchet. Funko Pop. During a majority of these convention announcements, there's always that one pop that really makes you wonder, why? And, uh, why? For anyone grabbing this, why? Marvel is getting a few surprising additions. We have a 10 inch Galactus and detachable Silver Surfer, which is limited to only 1500 pieces. Blade, he's getting a pop super wicked anyone else hyped for mashala ali being blade i'm 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 freaking hyped falcon sporting one of his most recent costumes in comics this is a post cap suit or post captain america suit this specific suit is actually made out of vibranium nanotech which is freaking sweet we are also getting a funko soda of thor limited to 15,000 pieces and comes with a black light chase black noir from the boys is pretty cool if you watch the boys you already know that homelander is essentially the superman of the universe black noir has the same abilities as homelander and on top of that is more brutal and unstable than him so i really dig this character this is a must grab for any collector of the boy Stanley in his Samurai Warrior outfit. This is from season seven when they were doing a costume contest at the office. I just remember Jim and Pam going as Popeye in olive oil, which was adorable, by the way. Kelly as Snooki and Stanley as a Samurai Warrior. This looks really cool and I'm actually really excited to get my hands on it. The Rocketeer, it's been a hot minute, homie. How have you been? Last time we saw the Rocketeer release, it was back in 2013. Gang Orca and Fat Gum from My Hero Academia. I am a fan of these molds. I am a huge fan that they are branching out and getting more characters from the series. And personally, I think both of these should have been six inches. <laughs> I mean, look, Fat Gum and his Jelly Belly is taking up half of the screen in this picture. And he's nearly two times taller than Kirishima and Tamaki in the same frame. And look at Gang Orca. He, he's literally out of frame. He's so tall. But it's cool. I'm still getting them because I love My Hero. And lastly, the final pop. This is for the awesome send-off we need. This convention definitely killed it with variety, creativity, surprises, and some meh. But now, the last pop announcement from Funko for this year's summer convention is... An older Captain America mold in a plastic box. Yeah. They're really selling this. All right, everyone, that is all the pops listed out for you releasing for this year's summer convention. These will all be hitting stores on August 5th, so mark your calendars and online retailers at the same day at or around 6 a.m. Pacific Standard or 9 a.m. Eastern. Here is the list of all the shared retailers where everything is going for the US of A. Here's Canada and the UK. And I'll even show all of the other locations around the globe. Also, be sure to enter into the Funko Lottery before July 23rd to hopefully get your shot at purchasing your items earlier and hopefully help me out with the Russo Brothers 2-pack. Please, I'm desperate. I will do anything. But anyways, guys, that is it for me. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel and don't forget to check out crazy collectors on instagram and youtube give them a follow and until next time i will see you in the next one